<laughs> that face. Hey guys, it's Boki here from Gigi's Fabric Shop and home of Janome Junkies. And we're here with another fun short with you guys for the 9400. That's also gonna work with the 9450 since the 9400 is not really around anymore, but they're sister identical twin machines. So everything that I mentioned to you is gonna apply to the 9450 today. We're gonna cover how to wind the bobbin properly um, on this machine. We do have some other shorts, so keep an eye out for those too. They'll be in the channel. We'll probably make a playlist for you guys um, called the 9400, 9450 shorts. So make sure you check that out. And just wanted to point out, if you are liking my t-shirt and you are eyeballing it, it is available. We're gonna put the link in the description for you guys if you wanna twin with me. It's super comfortable, unisex, really nice and breathable, especially for the hot weather coming up. Um, make sure you guys check it out with a little look on the back. <laughs> so if you guys wanna twin with me, make sure you look at the description below. Alrighty, you guys. So you wanna start off with making sure you have your spool placed in this little holder right here. You always wanna make sure you're using a spool cap that is most appropriate in size to the actual spool and that it's feeding underneath nice and loosely like you see here. I'm working with my Glide 40 in the color Cobalt. If you are addicted to Glide thread just as much as we are, comment your favorite color down below because it is such awesome thread. Fun fact, my favorite color is Warm Gray 4. All right, y'all. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our thread and we're going to start off See, this is a good learning opportunity for you. You see how that unraveled really quickly? You wanna make sure you avoid something like that and that you feed it nice and slow, especially with such a beautiful and silky thread like this. Hold it nice and tight like you're flossing your teeth. You're gonna go under here for step number one. This is the same step you do for when you're threading the machine and when you're winding the bobbin. You're gonna follow the dotted line right here. Oh, little man down. <laughs> you're gonna follow the little dotted line that you see right here and you're going to wind back for bobbin winding mode okay now you're just gonna take your thread make sure it's feeding nice and smooth and then you're gonna take your plastic class 15 bobbin that you see here see how when you turn it to the side it's nice and flat you want to make sure that all the bobbins you have in your stash maybe from other machines resemble this or honestly just to avoid it I would recommend buying authentic um, accurate to Janome um, bobbins but this is the one that came with the machine so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our thread and we're going to pull it underneath like this we're gonna pull it underneath through the little hole just like so all right At, you can do this a couple ways um, some people do the wrap around method but I think this is the most accurate way to get a consistent bobbin every single time so now we're gonna take our bobbin all the way over here onto the little pin for the bobbin okay there's an independent bobbin winder right here you're gonna drop it down just like so Keep it nice and tight the whole time, just like you see here, all right? You're gonna pop this into place, all right? And you'll see on the screen, it's going to say bob and winding. Ignore the flashing of the screen, y'all. It's, it's not how the screen is. It's just unfortunately when you record, it looks like that. I'm gonna put my speed all the way up and then you can actually wind this just like this. But before you press start, notice how I'm keeping my thread nice and tight, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start engaging it. I'm holding it as it starts winding on. And I'm not pulling hard on this thread, okay? If I'm pulling hard, I risk this popping off. So I'm just holding it loosely enough so it doesn't go underneath and unravel and just enough for it to pick up a nice good chunk of it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna snip super close to the bobbin like so. And then I can resume bobbin winding. And when it's completely wound, it will stop, all right? You know you've done it correctly when the bobbin is nice and evenly fed, like you see here. It's going up and down, nice even distribution. Nothing is looping, nothing is getting caught. It's not wrapping around underneath. All right, and when it's done, it will declutch. It's doing such a great job at really filling this bobbin out. So just give it a second. All right, so my bobbin is wound and all I'm gonna do is underneath this little cap that the machine sits on, there is actually a little blade. So watch what happens when I throw it under here and I just give it a little tug. Hold on, I'm kind of in an awkward position here. Tug it and it's gonna cut the thread for you. And actually there's a thread cutter located back here too. So you have a couple ways to cut the thread up here and down here. So just pull this up and look at that beautifully wound bobbin. It's nice and even. I'm gonna do a smush test where I kind of pinch it from the sides. It's not given anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and even. This is a perfectly wound bobbin every single time. All right, now that you've had this beautifully wound bobbin, we are going to insert it. All right, so let's go ahead and pop our perfectly wound bobbin in there. So you wanna make sure that the thread is falling from the 
left side like this that it's going in the shape of a P all right so it's gonna drop in just like so it's going to effortlessly just kind of fall into this first little crack right here let me see if I can do it one more time just so you can get a visual so it's going to effortlessly just kind of fall in there and then it's gonna go under this lifted arm okay so it's just gonna go under like that back up for one bring it down for two and at two there's a little blade right there so I'm just gonna tug it to the left and it's gonna cut the thread for me That's just to the right, okay. like that. Oh, to the right. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the right and then I'm just going to put the little cover on and we're ready to sew, you guys. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something out of it. We're going to be doing a lot of shorts on this video, so make sure you like and subscribe and comment below if you have this machine and maybe what's your favorite feature about it or what you want to see next. We love hearing feedback from you guys. If you want to take it to the next level and you just love us so much, you can follow us on um, Janome Junkies on Facebook. We have um, subscribers in there. It's a great little support group where you can ask your questions and talk to fellow Janome owners. So check that out as well. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because we do post every week on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that so you never miss another informative video ever again. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call. It's 813-661-9000. Um, or send us an email with any questions or concerns trying to find your perfect machine for you. It's sewing machines with an S 411 at gmail.com. Don't forget if you want to twin with me, the description is down. The link is in the description below so you guys can grab your shirt. We have lots of different shirts in our app and they are super comfortable. I promise you they're truly, truly awesome. So check that out too. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.